Another day of soccer shame rush home in the heart of Manchester in the aftermath of some of the worst football violence in the city for years. Indian-owned shops and businesses bore the brunt, targeted by Manchester City fans, frustrated at being separated from rampaging Millwall fans by the police. There were brick, bottles, everything. Millwall fans were ripping up seats and hurling them at opposing fans. Dozens of police officers moved in. They were met with a barrage of missiles. Nine officers were injured. There were 11 arrests. Saturday's violence was clearly carefully planned and orchestrated. It's understood an internet site told Millwall fans when and where to go weeks before the game. Nearly a thousand Millwall fans who'd been expected to arrive by train in Manchester stopped instead in Stockport three hours before kickoff. Officers in riot gear there were forced to separate them from hundreds of Manchester United fans bound for their game in Nottingham. It was suddenly like loads of fans, thousands of them everywhere, just turned up all at once. Just, uh, and it just seemed funny to me.